Hello everyone, I am Ashraful Haq, uh, currently working as a software engineer at AppsCode. As previously announced in today's webinar, we are going to discuss how to provision single store on Kubernetes using KubeDB. Uh, earlier this year, KubeDB added support for single store. Uh, let's get started on it. So here, here are the contents that we are going to discuss for today's webinar. First, we will discuss what is single store and the features of single store. After that, we will move on provision single store using KubeDB and what are the features KubeDB offers you on this. Then we will move on to the live, uh, live demo live demo of uh, provision of single uh, single store cluster on the local in our local kind cluster and finally we will have a qa session for you based on this webinar basically single store formerly known as uh, meme sql is indeed a distributed sql database that support transactional analytical and and uh, vector data workloads in real time <laughs> Here are some key features of single store. Uh, single store is a distributed uh, uh, single store is a distributed data uh, data database with relational SQL that gives you a lot of the efficiencies that distributed system provide while running on commodity standard hardware as with no SQL databases. But with single store, you also get the SQL structure that so many organizations dependent on it. Uh, Single store support real time processing. Uh, what does uh, real time processing mean? Uh, real time processing refers to the ability to engage, process, and analyze data with minimal latency, allowing organization to make timely decisions based on up to date information. Single store support real time processing by providing features such as distributed data engagement, continuous data pipelines, streaming data processing, and low latency query execution capabilities. This enables organization to perform real-time analytics, uh, monitor key performance indicators, detect anomalies, uh, and uh, respond to event in near real time. Single store support transactional, analytical, and vector data workloads in real time. So, uh, in transactional workloads, single store support transactional workloads by providing features such as multi version concurrency control, transaction isolation levels, and transaction commit and rollback mechanism. In analytical workloads, uh, involve complex queries and data analysis uh, uh, operations that are performed on large data set to derive insights and make informed decisions. Single store support analytical analytical workload by providing features such as distributed query processing in memory storage, columnar storage format, and parallel query execution uh, capabilities. And uh, uh, vector data refers the data set that consists of vectorized or, or array based data structure often used in scientific computing, machine learning, numerical analysis applications. Vector data workloads involves operations such as vector computations, linear algebra operation, numerical uh, simulation, single store DB supports vector data workloads by providing vectorized query execution engines, support for vector data types, and integration with libraries and frame frameworks for numerical computing and machine learning. Furthermore, single store is MySQL compatible, uh, meaning that uh, supports the MySQL OIR protocol and a SQL syntax, uh, making it relatively easy for existing MySQL user to migrate single store without significant changes to their application or queries. Single store is one of the fastest databases on the market. It can engage data at up to 10 GB per second and query data up to 10 to the 5 transactions per second. Single store is highly scalable. It uh, can be depend on premises or in the uh, or in the cloud. And it can scale to support billions of rows and terabytes of data. 
single store is highly reliable database it is designed to be fault tolerant and it can withstand even the most demanding workloads here is the feature models of single store that we already have discussed now we are going to what QDB offers and how QDB manages the provisions or uh, single store on your public or private Kubernetes cluster. First, user has to create a single store custom resource. QDB provisioner operator continuously watches single store custom resources and creates single store cluster, including necessary Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes component like stateful set, persistent volume cl claims, secrets, services, app binding, uh, app, app binding uh, which is uh, necessary for uh, creating the uh, single store cluster. Now, if you want to delete your single store cluster for this we have termination policies if you want to delete uh, all of the resources of the cluster in this case you can use the uh, web out as a termination policy if you want to keep if you want to keep secret and persistent volume you can use hold as a termination policy in this case, you are, if you want to recreate your cluster, it will start with the existing secret and the persistent volume. If you want to uh, keep only secret, in this case, you can use termination policy as uh, delete. And if you don't want to accidental uh, deletion of your cluster, you can use do not termination, do, do not terminate as uh, termination policy. In this case, it will prevent any kind of deletion from cluster resources. In our latest release, we have uh, came up with a few exciting features such as uh, customizable uh, health checker where you can set the health checking interval and error threshold. Also, you can set the health checker to none if you don't want to uh, health checker to access your cluster. The health checker checks the cluster accessibility and retry checks. Your cluster can be your custom configurable. You can set your custom configuration initially. After that, uh, up, uh, your cluster will be bootstrap with the, your custom configuration. Also, you can in initialize your cluster using uh, using a script, like uh, you can add a SQL file uh, that will in initialize when it will uh, bootstrap and then it will create the databases, uh, databases based on your SQL file. Also, it is uh, support the persistent volume. You can persist your data on the disk and it is support the multiple termination policy that already uh, i have described uh, in previous slide and we have uh, support security context in in the port that run as non root so that uh, uh, it can prevent any unwanted uh, disaster from a cluster For live demo, I have already installed uh, kubedb in my local client cluster where I use the uh, latest kubedb version where we have uh, added the single store uh, support. So for in more uh, information about kubedb, feel free to explore our website kubedb.com. You can install kubedb using this uh, Helm chart to get uh, the license. You can visit kubedb.com and see our documentation. Before jumping into the live demo, I just want to describe the YAML, what I will deploy in the live demo. Uh, mainly, mainly single store have two types of mode. One is clustering mode and another one is, is uh, standalone mode. For clustering mode, we have a field, uh, field topology in spec that identify it is clustering mode. Now, I will describe briefly the clustering mode. First of all, uh, here is the API version and it is the kubedb.com and vion alpha 2 and the kind is single store. And in the metadata section, I have mentioned the name and namespace 
and spec section here uh, i mentioned the version and is 8.132 and uh, for the clustering uh, for the clustering mode i have to mention the the topology uh, in this topology field uh, there are two main field is uh, aggregator and lift and in ag aggregator uh, in aggregator section i have uh, mentioned the, uh, that uh, replicas will be three and the storage is storage in storage section in storage class name uh, is standard and the access modes is read write ones and the resource request storage is one gigabyte and uh, in the lips uh, in the lift section the replicas will be twos and the storage uh, in storage section the storage class is same as uh, standard and and the resource request storage is 10 gigabyte uh, for uh, basically when you want to use single store you have to take a license from single store so uh, in this case uh, we have to pass the license uh, so we we will pass the license uh, through a secret we will create a secret then we will pass this uh, secret in this yaml so uh, yeah, here we have create the uh, license uh, the and name we and we create uh, the license uh, secret uh, and the name is license secret and we will set in the license secret uh, section and here is the storage type is durable and the termination policy is uh, way out uh for standalone mode uh, mode the eml is same as previous eml except the topology field so in that standalone standalone mode the topology field will be nil and uh, the here is the default replica size is uh, one and uh, we have to uh, we have to mention the resource request storage uh, storage in here so now uh, go on to the uh, terminal for live demo we can uh, see that i have already created uh, the single store license secret and the name is license secret now i want to apply the clustering mode yaml uh, you can see that uh, the single store is created and the currently the status is uh, provisioning you if you look uh, look look into this uh, you, you can hear that uh, uh, two state full set are created one is aggregator and uh, another one is lip so uh, here are the three port uh, uh, aggregator port and here are the two state uh, two lip port and uh, we can see that uh, that our uh, db is ready in re ready status so now now we, we want to uh, exec into the database and we want to uh, uh, create or read write uh, read write operation we can do a read write operation in our uh, the database so i want to just exec into the database for this for this reason uh, we need to the user and the password we will get the a password and user using the view secret and uh, uh, we, we, uh, we will get it from the sample root credential secret now here we are in, in the, our database and we want to see the total databases so here are the databases now we want to create a database uh, name as demo and we want to set the number of partition in the leave storage uh, we set the partition is 2 So we can see that the, our database is created. Uh, we can see here that uh, this uh, demo database is created. Now we want to create a table. We want to create a table name uh, test. And uh, here at the column is ID, first name, last name, and uh, age and email. Oh, oh, sorry. 
we have to first uh, uh, select the database so uh, now we can uh, create our uh, table now we want to uh, insert some data successfully uh, uh, insert uh, three data and we want to uh, see these three data so we can see that uh, we have uh, uh, get the three data by query so say as same as we can uh, deploy our standalone mode now back to the sample here and uh, in the next release we will try to uh, add the backup and restore for single store uh, single store features using qvstash which will prevent the uh, disaster and also we will also we will add the monitoring uh, monitoring basically who is who is monitoring using grafana dashboard and after that uh, we will add the built-in uh, built-in uh, single store studio ui and we will add the tls support uh, i i hope we will add this in the next uh, uh, next release so that's all from my side if you have a question about uh, this uh, uh, webinar you can uh, ask me I think there is no question. Thanks for joining the webinar.